Hello and welcome to the first weekly broadcast of Fantasy Big Balls. <laughs> We're going to learn everything fantasy football related straight from Washington State. Big Balls. The Big Ball School. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Clancy Ray and I'm here with Ron Allen, Big Balls, and Bo Cephas. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be sharing all of our fantasy football knowledge with you. I'm sitting with two former champions, probably this year going to be champions as well, of big time fantasy football leagues. I've also been involved in fantasy football leagues in the past, but this year I'm more focused on making a show to help you. Everyone can be a winner, and that's going to be you. Don't listen to all that bullshit and fake news, fantasy fake news. We're here to give you the real stuff. We're yeah. here to make the losers into winners. Yeah. And the obvious winners are going to become losers because they get too greedy. Yes. So, Ron Allen, tell me what you mean by this fake news in fantasy well, football. Well, you know, there's a lot. You know, you see these fantasy football programs, and they're talking about all this advertisement, you know, fan duel, you know, and all this other, you know, retire, not retirement crap, but where people place bets and stuff. Well, I think they're skewing the odds and telling you what to go for sometimes when actually they have no intention themselves of going that way. So we're here to give you the real stuff. We're not here to give you a bunch of baloney. We're here to give you big ball information. What are some bad fantasy information that's out there right now? I'd say some bad information is, I, I would say, you know, people are thinking that, you know, Rawls is gonna start for the uh, Seahawks. Well, you know what? It's gonna be Carlson. And he's actually our fantasy, my fantasy tip. Because I'll say, you already picked your team. You're stuck with it. And now you're going to be going onto the waiver wire and you're going to be looking for somebody. Well, you better look real quick because the first two weeks are the most important. That's why we're here, big balls, to tell you how to get the right ball on your team. Right. So you think Carlson and the Seahawks might be a surprise waiver wire pickup for everybody yeah, out yeah, there? Yeah, I, I, I'm saying down at Vegas, they're giving some long shots and they're putting money on him. And a lot of people don't know about it. And there's going to be some big returns on this Carlson guy. And, the, and I think that, hey, don't think about Lacey. Don't think about Rawls. You better get Carlson on your team. You better get him quick because the information's out there and they're going after it. And I'd say we're here to tell you, hey, stop, listen and act. That's it. Get him on your team. Bo Cephas, what were you telling me about some fake news at the Patriots? Well, I think that uh, they're bragging up old Amendola to take over the slot spot. Look what he's done this preseason. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Who's the guy to own that all the big wigs are telling you not to own? Hogan. That's your man. You'll see. They can't throw the cooks all day long they got to use somebody else and Amendola hasn't got it done in the last three or four years so my surprise fantasy pickup for all you big baller Chris Hogan Chris New Hogan. England Patriots. pass that on here you got some good information come Hogan's on the waiver wire you heard it here you better be Almost picking him up every league Hogan is available he's available in your league hey and this is Washington thank God yeah. thank God we're in Washington <laughs> Yeah. Legal marijuana. Yeah. And big balls. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll give you a little clue, too, is on our Madden football, you've got a champ here sitting in front of you. Right now, today, on Madden, Xbox, 420. There we are. I'm Mad Dog 420. I am number 66 in the world, and I know how to run a team. And if I can run a team like I run my Fadden team, fantasy, hey, up dog, up dog, up dog. We're ready to go. And it's big balls that knows. Because I'll tell you, I drug him across the grass. I pushed him up the tree. I've been there, and I'm going to tell you how to get there. He's That's the right. man to show you the way. So another thing often overlooked, but have you looked into the rules of your fantasy football leagues this year? Every league has a little bit different rules. I can tell you from experience, Ron Allen knows how to take advantage of the rules yeah. to the finest. Oh, They've even yeah. changed rules in his <laughs> leagues <laughs> yeah. because of how well he knows the rules. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you a little clue. And it is, you know, in a lot of these leagues, you're allowed so many players, and then sometimes that you can put players on IR. Well, I read my rules last year, and I, I drafted guys that are on the IR, and I put them on the IR. I didn't even have to put them on my team. Well, I'll tell you what. 
it didn't go very well with the rest of the teams that were out there but the rules were the rules but I'll tell you this year they changed it <laughs> they made a bad dog rule saying that you couldn't do that anymore but I'll tell you what I figured out a way around it and I'll share that with you on our next podcast how it can help you <laughs> that come right from us big ballers yeah <laughs> Now, living in Washington State, we definitely enjoy our legal marijuana. The green but grass. What's going on without being able to legally play DraftKings or other types of fantasy football? I want to hear a little bit about that. Yeah. You know, we got our marijuana now. We should be able to also be able to gamble on uh, DraftKings. I just don't understand this. You know, it's one of those things that could bring millions of dollars into our state coffers. That's why we got marijuana legal here. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Exactly. They're, they're... Uh, the government can get their hand in there on yep. that, make a little revenue off of DraftKings, and mm. they would make mass money off right. DraftKings. So oh, why yeah. do we gotta suffer? That's right. I gotta feed the grandkids. I've gotta gamble. I gotta get this out and gotta make it legal. So let's get going. I gotta crack into my savings and lose it and kind of spread it around. That's economic development. Let's go. I know how well you've been at fantasy football. If you were able to get into DraftKings, oh my word. Oh, Watch I would it. just love it. We it's all about. It. You know what? When it gets right down to it, it's all about numbers. Fantasy football is nothing but numbers. And I'll tell you what, if you figure it out, it's numbers. It's not whether or not you like the guy, you dislike the guy, if he's green, blue, or red. It's the numbers. It's what he produces, what he doesn't produce. And it might not be the best player, but it's who's playing the worst team at the best time. <laughs> now, when you start talking about numbers, Ron Allen, that really makes me think about uh, we need an introduction, what we think about football. You talk about not having, you know, a certain favorite player, favorite team. It's about who's going to produce. But to give our viewers a little bit of background, I wanted to know a little bit about what's our favorite team? Why do we like football? Uh, Ron Allen, what's your favorite team? Seahawks. I was at the Seahawks when Jim Zorn was a baby. And I was there for the opening day. And I've been there ever since. And always a Seahawk will be a Seahawk. And it's the best team. And you know what? We're the number 12s. The best in the country. And that's why we're here. And that's why I um, belong to fantasy football because I'm a Seahawk fan. And without being a Seahawk fan, I couldn't have been a football fan. We're in Seahawk country. Yeah, here, have some there. That's what Go the Hawks. Northwest. Yeah, that's the Cal tribe there. So, Bo Cephas, while I write this up, tell us a little bit about your favorite team. Or, I know you've told me a little bit, you don't you really have a favorite me. team. You know me. I'm one. That's why I'm such a great fantasy football players because I don't have a favorite team. Well, maybe once upon a time I was had a favorite team when I was a kid, the Denver Broncos. Go Elway, which is still with the Broncos. <laughs> but I'm not into a favorite team. I like all 32 NFL teams. I love them, and I think that's what separates me from the rest <laughs> of fantasy. I don't get hung up on one player because he's on my favorite team. My favorite team is the team that has all the big ballers. Yeah. Got to have the big balls. Right. Especially I, to be on our show. Right. I have problems because, like last year, I traded Hilton for Gordon. Well, needless to say, I'm a 420 guy, and Gordon really is somebody I really, you know, was a hero in a certain sense, but it's still not going to be playing. Yeah. And, and I lost Hilton. He was the top fifth producer, and that was my worst move last year. But you know what? <laughs> I still cashed in. And still I made, cashed in. I still cashed in because and every week you can win on the waiver wire. You play your players that are playing, and you can take off the waiver wire. And you even you gave up on win. Cooks last year. I gave up and on I Cooks. I told him not to give up on Cooks. You yeah. know, if he would listen to this big ball's advice every once in a while, he wouldn't have to spend half the season shitting his pants to get the big bucks. <laughs> he did get the big bucks, yes, because right. he is a baller. That's right. But, but in the end, who was there? It was big balls. <laughs> you might have said, well, dog. you screwed up on this play or that play. But when it comes down to it, big balls was down there, and he was down there. He was dragging the ground, and he was making the plays. And you know why you was there? Because you were there helping me along. It's not That's just why. that. Big balls. The reason why we're always there is because we're aggressive. Yeah. We are aggressive, aggressive with the waiver wire. <laughs> Cephas has always been aggressive. you play the waiver wire... You are not playing football. You, you know, I I pick up players so other teams can't pick up the players I pick up. Exactly. I, I look at the guy I'm going to play this week, and I see what shortage he has on what's his team. What he needs. What he needs. And if I see somebody that's on the waiver wire that he needs to pick up, I'm going to pick him up. So he can't, whether I need him or not. 
<laughs> you can always flush him the next week. I can always put him on ER. ER. <laughs> IR. Oh, or send him to the ER. I don't know. Yeah. Now, being in Seahawks country, uh, Clancy Ray here, my favorite team is Seahawks, too. Huh. I, I want to give a shout out here. There's not very many people in the park. All you'll see, we'll see how many Hawks we get back. I think I might get at least one from next to me. Here we go. See Hawks! See Hawks! Well, we got a couple. Well, we got back. a couple, but we also got a lot of people looking at uh -uh. us like we're crazy. <laughs> but this is our first show. You walk. Is there cops catching on, dude? Oh, oh, there's State God. Patrol actually rode by a few minutes ago. Oh we're my! Capitol God. right behind us here. Uh oh! <laughs> I heard. Was, was that Green Bay? No, oh we're gonna grate God. them like cheese first That's week right. of the season. Hey, I'll tell you what. Well, let's are let's good. try to break down that game a little bit. Okay, first okay. Seahawks kind of game a, coming kind up. Kind of a yeah. scary Where's game. Where's that gonna That'll be? Give us Mr. Gonna be in Green Bay. Mr. To open dog, up the Mad Dog. What do you yeah. think? Well, tell me maybe one of your highlights of the game. Well, I think they're gonna have it tied up in the sense that now they got Richardson. The, uh, the Seahawks just got from. The Jets you who came in, and him. that, and they're going to be rushing Aaron Rodgers, and he's going to be on his rump, and We're they're going out. to have him down that front line, and, <laughs> and now this backfield that the Seahawks have, they are good. They're better than the best, and I think you're going to see them come out from nowhere to be somewhere. But everybody kind of knew about the Seahawks, but they didn't know how good they could be. They went four and zero in preseason, same as they did the last time they won the Super Bowl. And they're going back. I've never thought preseason mattered, though, really. I think they should even shorten it to two to get less players hurt. I hear oh. you there. Hey, you tell hey, that to the coach. Hey, let's turn the preseason games into regular football games. Nobody wants that's a loser. Nobody wants at. to lose at nothing. And that's preseason or not. You tell that to the coach. It don't matter if you lose. And see what so he says. So your actually is your prediction is that the Seattle Seahawks are going to be in the Super Bowl again this year. Yep. And who are they going to be playing? They're going to be playing New England. It's going to be a new. It's going to be right back there to New England and Seattle. Well, what do you say, Mr. Middleman? I really nothing short of the Super Bowl. After we made it there the year we played Denver. Denver. And then nothing hey, short of the Super Bowl. Elway ain't the quarterback there anymore. You can pound <laughs> on them all you want. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I, I know they just brought Every Brock team. Osweiler back. Oh, yeah. yeah, that wasn't very smart. Brock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you guys want to lose your fantasy playoffs, your fantasy season, run out and put Brock on your team as your oh. quarterback. There you so go. I also say Seahawks in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. See, this is why my friends hate me. We all can agree on one team, as you heard it from these two, that are going to make it to the Super Bowl, and that will be your New England Patriots. There is no doubt in my mind about that. But they're sea chickens. We'll probably get stuck out at sea, probably about the second playoff game. And yours truly, our old running back, Mr. Marshawn Lynch, and the Oakland Raiders will be facing the New England Patriots in their Super Bowl. Now, heard it. You heard it from both Cephas first. Vegas yeah. would like that. Yeah. Well, here, here's the real place. information. And, and I got it from the, the gods above. <laughs> Who is on Madden this year? Who is it? Mr. Brady. Mr. Brady. And what happens when you're on Madden? Tell me. Tell me. You He's cannot curse a wizard. Yep. It I'll tell you what. Possible. You, you end up getting injured, and you don't play the whole season. Oh, he'll be there. So very, very. that's the only thing I'm saying is, you know, I said that the the Patriots are going to be there at the Super Bowl, but I forgot about Brady being on Madden. So, so you're probably I'm changing my I'm changing my mind. We're going to start show, but you can't even have I have to back up my I have to back it all up. in one direction. <laughs> so unless, unless they quit printing them and uh, they get us a picture off Now we're there. like everybody else. Yeah. But, but so it's told. Who are the Seahawks part playing in the Super Bowl instead of New England? Who are they going to play who instead are they of New England? Play? They'll probably be playing with themselves in their own little Super Bowl up there in Seattle. That's about <laughs> as good as it's been. Big Balls <laughs> says, if nothing else, play Oakland. with yourself. New so, England. Yeah. So Oakland, New England is what you're saying, huh? And that's what I'm seeing. I'm still sticking, sticking to Seattle, New England. I don't think Seahawks. Oakland and New England can play the same, Ken. If you got Rodgers... We're talking about the running back for Tampa. It, you better have got him out and got him. You know, as soon as you see this, because I'll tell you what, if you get a chance to plug him in, you're still there, and you get a chance to see this before he plays, 
grab him because at least he's going to get you some points. He Never another get... waiver wire tip. Jacquees Rogers yeah. is it yeah. Jacquees? Yeah, Mr. he's going to. You know what? He weeks. told me, you know, with Martin, you know, with his, you know, being out, you know, for the several weeks and stuff, he's going to be there playing and going back with his old running back coach. He kind of likes the idea of being a first string guy. And he doesn't like this stuff. And he's got a really bench. soft schedule the first three yeah, games. Really yeah, good really good schedule. Really good defenses. Rodgers. Rodgers you know, would be a good pickup to get right now. He might break a few free and get right. you a real big, big game. That wouldn't surprise right. me. But, I mean, his bottom line is, you know, he should get you 80 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Minimum he's, floor, wouldn't you say? He, he, should get you, he should get you quite a bit. But he's somebody you need to go out there and really look at real strong and get him real quick. And I think that Carlson, you know, he's a guy that's going to be there, and I think you're going to need to get him. But people will be wondering what happened this weekend. Well, this weekend there's going to be some surprises. When the first game's played, people really don't know what's going to happen, except this team of big ballers, we're in tune and we're informed. And you don't know who's calling us next. We're getting some inside information from people and places that we can't even tell you. Because running back's my hot. Waiver wire tip for running backs for y'all would be not it's if you got room on your bench, I'm telling you he's a great guy to stash. I think he'll be a top fifteen running back by the end of the season. If he gets to start about week three, four, five, which I predict he will, and that is Dante Foreman, Houston, Texas. Miller's probably gonna get hurt. Or he's getting a little older. He's never been able to take on a huge workload. He's proved that last year. And Foreman is the guy to own in Houston. You heard That's it here my first. only tip for you from Big Balls. You know Hoyer. Mr. Cephas. I think Hoyer, for a quarterback going into San Francisco, he makes Garcon look like a, hey, a top 10. Because Hoyer, he knows how to get the ball down there. And he's been around and stuff. And I think that San Francisco is going to move the ball this year. And look at Hyde. Everyone said that uh, Hyde was going to lose his job. There's nobody there knocking on his door. So you got Hyde. Now you go out and get Gerson. Now they got Hoyer, someone that can actually be a quarterback Greg and Gerson throw the ball. Looked really good. They sound like that's a that's a top team that someone could come around. They, it looks like the old days are back in San Francisco. Well, as a Seahawks fan, I don't know about San Francisco being a top team. However, there's some good players on there that'll score you some Here, points. Here, that down there. Garcon is definitely a, a, a number one wide receiver. <coughs> in all fantasy drafts. I mean, there's a lot of places he ain't even drafted. Hey, if you I don't some, understand yeah. it. He's no. Who's going to get all the targets there? Right. Especially if you're in a PPR, which I, you know me, I like playing standard, old school. But the PPR, I, I just don't see why people does not. He's going to get eight, nine, ten looks a game. Right. You know his floor is going to be seven, eight targets a game. That's eight points. And in. lastly, I'd like to ask a couple things. Prediction for Seahawks Green Bay score. Let's hear a prediction from everybody. 28-21 Seahawks. I say 21-17 Hawks. They're playing in Green Bay? Yeah. I am going to go Aaron Rodgers. He, he likes to throw against some Seahawks. <coughs> we now have some spectators that are threatening some <laughs> oh, violence. I would the wrong say way. probably 31. Oh, shit. There's a B, too. 24. <laughs> See, bees have a Green problem. Bay. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 o